you know, we always learn about the front lines, right? Pastor Wayne, Pastor Owen talk about it in Second Chronicles 20 about when Jehoshaphat was at war and there was a big army coming for them. And just in a nutshell, basically, I'm not a theologian, so this is the Portuguese version of it. But basically, there was people coming for them and they were powerless. And it was just an army that was way bigger than theirs. And they, they knew they were powerless, so they went to the Lord and said, Lord, we need your help. May you help us. We don't know what to do. What the Lord had told them to do was put the singers and the musicians in the front part of the army. And what they actually did was sang praises to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the God that they were worshiping and serving. And at the moment they began to praise, the Lord actually threw the army into confusion and did his work that only he could have done. And you know, I was thinking about that. In the moment that we begin to praise and worship him, wherever we're at, whether we're in a good, happy place, ugly place, whatever it might be, at the very moment we begin to praise, I truly believe that God begins to do the unthinkable, that he begins to do the impossible. He does the things that we could never do on our own because we are powerless without him. So why not just praise him like we've never praised him before? It's our last day, right? Let's go out with a bang. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing, sing a new song to Him who sits on heaven's mercy seat. Worthy. Jesus, your name is high. 